Eddie Jordan has launched a scathing attack on Alpine, the team backed by several high-profile investors such as Ryan Reynolds, after their disastrous start to the new Formula One season. The French outfit have finished no higher than 13th this year and look to have one of the slowest cars on the grid, while there has also been a mass exodus of staff in recent months. Former team principal Otmar Savnauer, sporting director Alan Permain, technical director Matt Harmon and head of aerodynamics Dirk de Beer have all departed Alpen over the last 12 months. The car is also widely reported to be overweight, with the race suggesting that the A542 may be as much as 11 kilograms over the 798 kilograms minimum limit. Speaking on the Formula for Success podcast, Jordan did not pull any punches as he branded Alpens, absolutely embarrassing, and pinpointed Savnauer's exit as the moment which started their downfall. They got rid of Otmar prematurely, it was a mistake, said Jordan. He was a talented person who knew how to keep that team in the right direction. At the moment they are the most floundering team, it is absolutely embarrassing. I find it embarrassing to watch Pierre, Gasly and Esteban Ocon who are capable of winning races. Jordan suggested that Alpens could pull out of F1 within a year if their struggles continue, saying, do I see Alpen there next year? Absolutely not, not a chance. It's wide open for a sale. Renault have pulled back for it, they don't want to spend the money on the engine. The engine for 2026 is such a big outlay that it's frightening them. Even though the value of the team, they talk about £1 billion. Alpen have been disgraceful in not being able to perform for their drivers, for their team, to give them that car to compete in the championship. It's unacceptable, I wouldn't put up with it. Shocking. Alpen recently welcomed a number of high-profile celebrity backers including Reynolds, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Rory McIlroy, Anthony Joshua and Patrick Mahomes. However, it seems they will need to improve their on-track performances as quickly as possible in order to keep their new investors happy. Both of their drivers will be out of contract at the end of the season, meaning there is a chance that Alpen will need to recruit two new ones for 2025. Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon have recently been linked with potential moves elsewhere, with the latter said to be among the candidates to replace Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes. The staff exodus at Alpen has largely been blamed for their poor recent showings, but interim boss Bruno Famine believes that change was necessary in spite of their dreadful form this season. Speaking after last week's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Famine said, To be on the last row was a shock, to be honest. It just confirmed the need of changing in our team and we made the change. I think we have to remember also that we were at the second race of the season, which is very long. The car is totally new. We have developments coming. We will work hard in developing that car but, of course, understanding what the problems are is key to solving them. After internal politics played a major role in the sacking of the two senior personnel during the Belgian Grand Prix weekend last year, the team's dwindling foundation became more evident later during the year with the development of the A524, the 2024 F1 car which struggles with an underpowered engine and added weight. With two races down out of the 24 this season, Alpen finds itself at the bottom of the Constructors' Championship after failing to secure any points in the opening two races held in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. As a result, Jordan thinks drivers Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly will look for other opportunities on the F1 grid, away from Alpen at the end of 2024. Really difficult times for Alpen, David Coulthard said to Jordan on the Formula for Success podcast. The two drivers have been upbeat in their response to the predicament that they find themselves in. I find that Alpen are faceless. I don't know who is running the show. Coulthard then asked, a lot of the Formula One teams, the personalities of the team principals, or the madness of the team principals, if I think of yourself, your presence was felt when you bounced down the paddock. Don't you think that's part of the leadership role? It's a personality-driven role as well as a managerial role. Jordan replied, the marketing structure that Jordan had was different to Alpen. We had Irish music playing before qualifying. We had a press breakfast. We got more coverage because we fed them little stories. True or false, it didn't matter. Jordan further explored where Alpen have gone wrong and did not mince his words in his assessment. They got rid of Otmar prematurely. It was a mistake. He was a talented person who knew how to keep that team in the right direction. At the moment they are the most floundering team, it is absolutely embarrassing. I find it embarrassing to watch Gasly and Ocon who are capable of winning races. Do I see Alpen there next year? Absolutely not. Not a chance. It's wide open for a sale. Renault have pulled back for it, they don't want to spend the money on the engine. 
The engine for 2026 is such a big outlay that it's frightening them. Even though the value of the team, they talk about £1 billion. Alpen have been disgraceful in not being able to perform for their drivers, for their team, to give them that car to compete in the championship. It's unacceptable, I wouldn't put up with it. Shocking. Speaking to media, Gasly urged patience but was realistic about how well the team would perform in Australian GP. I think we know where we are, the Frenchman said. We are pretty much where we expect it to be starting with a new car concept. We said at the launch that we will have to be patient. We know there is work, we believe there is potential to unlock from that car package which, unfortunately, we were not able to do from race one. Gasly did say he had trust in the team but said it was crucial they identify the weaknesses in the first few weeks in order to recover later in the year. I trust in the team and I trust in the guys that we've got to come up with the solution that we need to find the competitiveness that we all want, Gasly continued. And I know everyone has worked extremely hard, there is positive change in the team behind the scenes which doesn't always reflect straight away on the racetrack but there's a lot of positive change inside the team. I do believe there will be progression. Obviously, we're not where we want to be in terms of car balance and car performance and it doesn't feel as as good as we would have liked but what will be crucial in the first few weeks for us is really identify all these weaknesses of the car that we have and find that potential that we will have to unlock. Yes, some targets have been missed in terms of the timeline, but it still doesn't mean that we can't achieve them at some point along the season. So as a competitive team, no one is happy of having a challenging start. This wasn't the idea but this is now the situation that we are in and we are facing it together as a team. Gasly's teammate Ocon spoke in similar terms and was also braced for a poor start to what is his 8th F1 season. The first and second race is not necessarily going to be the story of the whole season, Ocon said. We are going to get some new parts to the car but it is very possible that we don't start where we want to be exactly. That was always something that we spoke about early in the launch. It's a new concept where we have a lot to learn. With our car, we start from a fresh page, where we see better prospects for that car and better progression rates. Ocon was then asked if predictions of them being last could come true and he responded. We will see in a few races when we bring upgrades to the car. As expected, Eddie Jordan's comments have sparked a flurry of reactions from fans and experts alike. We'll showcase some of the most noteworthy responses from the F1 community and invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Eddie Jordan's scathing criticism of Alpen has sent shockwaves through the Formula One world. Whether you agree or disagree with his remarks, one thing's for sure, the drama surrounding Alpen is far from over. Stay tuned for more updates, analysis, and expert insights as this gripping saga continues to unfold. Thanks for tuning in today and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you on the next video.